So right off the bat, I see two things. So one is this one here. Looks like the solder is a bit to the side. That's only from one of the 10K resistors. So that's not too bad. And right here, there's sort of a solder joint that is connected, but not very well. So I'm gonna reflow these two and see where that brings us. But uh, yeah, typically I would say it wouldn't make too much of a difference. So that one's reflowed, as is that one. Uh, it's also possible that my uh, voltage is too high, but usually five volts is okay. We also got this one here. I mean, uh, usually nine volts is fine on a triple five timer. This one here kind of hangs over. I don't think the pad is actually touching there because there's a solder mask. Okay. Other than that, stuff looks okay. It should be well soldered. So um, maybe these two connections here for this 105 cap. Reflow them just to make sure there is a little bit too much solder on there. Okay, well, let's give this another shot. All right, well, I guess uh, time to try this again. And okay. Oh, something flashed there. Wondering if I don't have the right input voltage. Let me go down to uh, five volts here. I don't see any reason why I believe the 4057 and the 555 timer can both handle like pretty high voltage. Yeah, five volts there. Oops, meant to set that. Okay. And current, nothing. No. Nothing. I think pin 3 is the output pin of the triple 5 timer, so we could probe that with a scope and see what's going on. Because, yeah, nothing really is happening here. Hmm. Interesting. False alarm, false alarm. So it, uh, it was actually just uh, pulled out of, the wire had pulled out of here. So it's actually sort of working. You can see it kind of works its way down. So that should be a one, but something's wrong where these three LEDs stay on kind of no matter what. See that? One, two, three. It's supposed to be one, two, three like this. Not sure. I guess it's uh, either two or s something's going on here. So I feel like whatever transistor is handling these guys uh, is not turning off and I think I was playing with this and earlier I was putting my hand underneath oh there we go see look it turned off I feel like one resistor is not right so see now it's three this is this is working up oh, I was off screen this is working as intended I press this again Something's going on here. Something is absolutely odd. I put my hand on the back of this and it's just absolutely going nuts. That one's proper, three, right? That one's not proper. Very interesting. Something's wrong. Okay, okay. Some of you probably were yelling at the screen. Let me just bring this up here. I don't know if you can tell the markings on these chips, on these uh, ICs, but 
8550, this one here, 8550, and this one here, 8550. All of these are supposed to be 8050s, and this one is supposed to be the only 8550. So actually, now I remember why I wrote missing parts. Um, my dyslexia kicked in just now, and I thought these were all the same, so I figured five transistors, five transistors. By luck, I got this one in here, and now I'm not sure <laughs> if two of these, I mean, I guess they're either PNP or NPN, and they're reversed here. So 8050 and 8050, these two are opposites, they're 8550s, so yeah, let me try to figure out if the 8550s and 8050s are NPNs or PNPs, and then we'll just replace the ones that aren't working with my own stock. So in fact, the 8050s should be NPNs, and the 8550s are PNPs. So let that be a lesson to you. Don't just randomly trust Chinese stuff. So this kit was wrong for a few reasons. They were lacking some of the resistors. And they sent the wrong transistors. They gave me five, uh, five transistors where three are 8050s. No, two are 8050s and three are 8550s, even though you only need one 8550 PNP. So I'm going to remove these. that one. Whoops, I just saw her sucking the uh, wrong one out. day extracts a heavy toll. Alright, might as well suck out the old solder from here. Maybe I should get a piece of sticky tack so this thing doesn't move around on me. Okay, those two are extracted. So now what I have is the 8550 PNP is EBC, and I have uh, 2907 PNPs, which are the same pattern, which is great. Although these are NPNs I need, so the 8050s EBC, um, emitter base collector, and the 2N3904s I have EBC will fit exactly the same. So there we go. So 3904. I had accidentally ordered a whole bunch of the PNP ones. So I have a crap ton of PNP ones, but 2N3904. I don't know if you can see that. It's tiny. The 3904s are pretty common from what I hear. 
so I have a bunch but you know I find I feel like doing stuff with uh, transistors but what I like doing is more high power stuff and so these little signal transistors aren't good enough for that here we go though So everyone who said that it wouldn't work, they get a thumbs up for me. So if you did write in the comments, I had already thumbs up you by this point probably. And for those of you who said it would work, well, you were wrong. Never ever bet someone to succeed <laughs> when they're in a rush to make a quick video. It never works. Let's try this now. It is entirely possible that this doesn't work again, but let's hope it does, shall we? Okay, looking better already. So I'm gonna click this. They all come on and... <laughs> no, I didn't know nothing was a choice. Oh, come on. This this isn't right at all. S8050. It says 8050 on the silk screen. On all of these. 8050. 2N3904. 2N3904. Is it a property of the 2N3904s that doesn't let this work? Well, there, that one worked. Come on. Work with me here. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Well, I just went and watched Julian Eilert's video of this kit. It turns out he had exactly this kit. On his this 8050 down here was actually an 8550. He had two PNPs and three NPNs in his kit. I have a PNP right over here. Um, it seems like the 2N3904s, is that what I have there? Yeah, 2N3904s have a bit smaller gain than the S8050, but it should just make the LEDs less bright, not, you know, not work at all. So the next step is I'm going to replace this top one here, this top uh, transistor, with a uh, PNP and see if that works. Now it is this one, right? Yeah. And if this doesn't work, I'll have to make another video tracing the circuit and attempting to fix it. Okay. Push this guy back in. All right, well, let's give this a shot. I'm not holding my breath considering the previous results, but only one way to find out. This is now the final time that I'm giving this a shot. I've, uh, <laughs> I think in my effort to make a short video, I made one extremely long. So let's see if this works. Well, it shows something. 
Oh my god, I think that was it. Five. Oh my god, it freaking works. Six. Three. It works. Okay. So let's play the blame game here. First of all, my fault. There's a few of these where I didn't actually check the labels. I have a little bit of dyslexia, but that, that shouldn't excuse it. I shouldn't try to rush and get things done. That, that was totally my fault. But now for the people who sent me the kit, I mean the seller on eBay, and unfortunately I don't know who it is anymore because it's been so long that it's dropped off my list. They did not send me any of these 10k resistors and they sent me two NPN and three PNP transistors which I actually needed uh, three NPN, two PNP and this bottom one here is actually labeled as an NPN but it should be a PNP. Other than that, <laughs> this kit went relatively well. These kits are really good for um, learning usually but I'll say if you're a very beginner and you're easily flustered this would have not went well for you at all but in the end I'm glad this is done and I'm glad I can share my journey with you guys um, I, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it I know some of you will be ragging on me in the comments for my mistakes and that's you know I, <laughs> I'm a big guy I can take it but uh, yeah I'm glad this is done. So once again, thanks for watching.